Now, continuing on, I got Office Space on DVD. I also have it on Blu-ray. I believe I showed you in a previous video. And just so you know, um, well, no, I already showed that. Um, South Park, first season on DVD. And Dirty Harry on DVD. Spies Like Us on DVD. I might get it on Blu-ray if they got it on Blu-ray. Night of the Comet. Uh, guy on DVD. It's a pretty good movie. Oh yeah, first Predator movie. I got it on DVD and I got it as a triple feature on Blu-ray. Um, uh, Tomorrow Never Dies. Got it on VHS and but this is here on DVD. Might get it on Blu-ray also. That's a pretty good James Bond movie. Uh, Caddyshack, I have it on VHS, but here's the DVD. I might get it on Blu-ray. Mm. The Siege. Um, Martial Law Edition on DVD. Um, let's see, Last Action Hero. I can't remember if I got this on VHS or not, but I got this on DVD, and I want to get it on Blu-ray, especially if it's like a 20th anniversary edition with like, like all kind of extra bonus features. Uh, Gremlins 2, the new batch. I got that on DVD. It's pretty cool. Some episodes of MacGyver on DVD. Day After Tomorrow, uh, pretty cool. Crossroads, I got this on DVD, of course. <clears throat> oh yeah, We Were Soldiers. I can't remember if I got this on VHS or not. I think I might, and, but I got it on DVD. Yeah, I got it on VHS, that's right. Got it on DVD, and I'm thinking, oh man, I hope they got us... Well, I know they got it on Blu-ray, but I, I hope they got it as a special edition. And I'd totally buy this for a third time. Um, oh, yeah, there's the uh, Bell Huey helicopter. Is that a... Is that a fly bar on that uh, rotor? Well, I know it was just a single... I mean, it was a, it was a two-bladed single rotor uh, helicopter. But anyway... Uh, yeah, We Were Soldiers is a cool movie. Uh, Red Dawn, I bought this on DVD twice. This is the uh, collector's edition that I bought on DVD. And I'd probably get it on Blu-ray also. Eventually. Oh yeah, Alice in Wonderland. Two disc special edition. The special unanniversary edition on DVD. Yeah, I might get it on Blu-ray. Uh, Meet Spartans on DVD. And some uh, Three Stooges on DVD. Phantom on DVD. Too bad it's... I hate this. I hate when they do this stuff. Look at this. Special Features. And it says Interactive Menus. Scene selection, theatrical trailer. They act like it's some. Uh, you can tell this is the you know this is from an early time period. I guess on the well no, ice cream collector's edition. But I hate when they act like it's a special edition to have a freaking menu on DVD. That's supposed to be standard. You know, like that's standard on DVD. Uh, <clears throat> I Robot. I uh, got it on DVD. Now, at Walmart, they got the 3D edition on Blu-ray. I might get it, but then again, my they better just have a two-dimensional Blu-ray on there because my Blu-ray player, uh, my Blu-ray player does do 3D. It's a Sony BDPS 580, so it does 3D. You can see it says uh, Blu-ray 3D right there. Of course, you see it says Wi-Fi. But my uh, my Blu-ray player, it's um, it does 3D. It's just my television. 
a Samsung Smart, C, uh, Smart TV 6000 series. Um, it does not do 3D. Um, see, I told you I had Army of Darkness on uh, DVD twice. That's the one my friend gave me. <coughs> Now I got Shooter on DVD. And there's The Hobbit on GameCube. That's it. Now you look. This whole box right here. There's the contents of it right there. Most of my movies on DVD. Okay. And you notice this uh, Wayne's World right there. The first one. I got it on Blu-ray also. Some of these movies I have on Blu-ray. Um, and you see the Transformers right there. I got it on DVD and Blu-ray. First Wayne's World movie on DVD, on a VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray. Um, <clears throat> and you see movies such as GoldenEye. I got it on VHS from the 90s. And I got it on DVD. and uh, You can see right here on DVD, but I also got it on Blu-ray. Um, you see Terminator 2 I got it on VHS I got it on DVD twice and then I got it on Blu-ray uh, oh matter of fact here's just further proof here's uh, Terminator 2 Ultimate Edition on DVD and Terminator 2 Extreme Edition on DVD you got both of them on DVD you also got uh, the Skynet Edition on Blu-ray um <coughs> I mean, like, I have all, well, I have both of the Terminator, the first Terminator movies. Well, okay. Stop scratching. Uh, Terminator 2, or the first two Terminator movies, 1 and 2, I have them on VHS, DVD, and Blu-ray. Not all three of them. But with Terminator 2, I bought it twice on DVD. Uh, both of them are special. Well, the only the only standard edition that I have of Terminator 2 is actually on VHS. Um, other than that, my DVDs of Terminator 2 are both special editions, and I got a special edition. Well, they call it Skynet edition, but it's a special edition of Terminator 2 on Blu-ray. All that. <clears throat> I mean, I buy so many of my movies. On you know, like I buy them multiple times because I like them that much, and I want to make sure that I'm able to watch them. And although I'll be honest with you, uh, you see that computer over there? It's a second generation uh, Intel Core i5, three gigahertz, and um, so the technology in that computer is a year old because it's now it's you know December 31st, 2012, and I got this computer. Um, almost nine months ago in uh, April of uh, 2012 and um, I actually bought it just a few weeks before the third generation Core i processors came out on the market now you see this hard drive right here this external hard drive two terabyte I store all well all of them that I've transcoded so far like all these DVD movies yeah, they're ripped and transcoded through the computer, put right here on my external hard drive, which is plugged up to my Blu-ray player, and I watch them on my HD TV. That's how I do stuff. <clears throat> um, I do not distribute my movies over the internet. Um, now I hope to take little clips and do reviews about movies and blah 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 and do analysis and commentary about my movies and put you know a certain clip or excerpt on there I hope in the future I haven't started doing that yet but I hope to start doing that but you know I'm sure that you know Hollywood will play the role of the victim and act like I'm bootlegging their movies and and like don't contribute any money to them when you can clearly see as spread out on this couch I've contributed quite a bit of my movie or quite a bit of my money throughout the years to Hollywood and making sure that they get paid for their work. I mean, like I mean, come on, like how many times do I got to buy Terminator 2? Well, I buy it because I feel like it. It's a good movie. I like it. 
and I know that whenever I pay money for this stuff and buy it legally from the authors, the manufacturers, distributors and all that, that that the filmmakers get more money so that they can hopefully keep this good stuff around and like so I can enjoy it again and again and again I mean stop scratching I got Terminator 2 four times okay once on VHS twice on DVD and once on Blu-ray I mean like the first Terminator movie I got it three times. <clears throat> Standard edition on VHS, special edition on DVD, and I think I, I think it might be a standard edition on Blu-ray, that triple feature that I got. And I just want you to see this again. I mean, look at it. Look at all these movies that I that I buy. Okay, because I like them. Okay, a stack of movies on my couch. Now you follow me into the bedroom where I will show you all of my Blu-ray movies except for that Fight Club that's sitting on the, uh, the, com the, the TV stand. And here's my, and here's my Blu-rays. I got 36 Blu-ray movies. I mean, like, look, like I said. <clears throat> Okay, let's get this under control. Look, here's all my Terminator movies on Blu-ray. Terminator, the first Terminator on Blu-ray. First Predator on Blu-ray. Commando on uh, Blu-ray. I mean, like, look at this. Skynet edition of Terminator 2 on Blu-ray. Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines, on Blu-ray. Factory sealed, still hasn't opened it yet. And Terminator Salvation, I bought this at Best Buy. And look, the, the Blu-ray is getting so cheap. I mean, 10 bucks for the director's cut of Terminator Salvation on Blu-ray. Factory sealed. I mean, like... Now, let's see, is there any special features on this Terminator? No, I don't think. Um, no. <clears throat> now, what codec did they use on them? Um, okay, they're using DTS HD Master Audio for uh, 6.1? 6, 6 That's weird. Uh Now, um, oh. they don't tell the video codec on here, so I don't know. Well, I mean, I can find out through my Blu-ray player. My Blu-ray player will tell you. Uh, will tell me. I don't know if it's D if it's um if it's um H.264 or MPEG-4 or I'm um, basically advanced video codec or whether it's VC1. Oh, it says right here on Terminator 3. Let's just play the uh, Atari video game. I don't have Terminator 3 um, on PlayStation 2, but I do got Terminator Salvation, I believe. Um, and I got all these VHS movies all down there, and I still got some more in other places. And then, <clears throat> still yet, I didn't show you all my DVDs. Um look yeah another stack of DVDs well DVD starts right here with stripes bought it on DVD twice um, you might be able to see that but uh anyway um, well I got Mad Max oh here's the Matrix on DVD yeah I got you can see I got stripes twice on DVD oh here we go Here's some more of my games. Um, see, I got Mad Max on DVD. Uh, here's Matrix Reloaded on DVD. Don't fall over. 
Oh yeah, Metal Slug. Metal Slug 3 on Xbox. Let's see, I got Stripes. Stripes on DVD. And... That's because it contains 18 minutes of extra featuring six deleted scenes. That's why I bought it again. Oh, what's that? What's that I see there? Oh, yeah, I got stripes twice on DVD. Oh, oh, I don't think I'm a bootlegger. Yeah, I don't think I just get movies off the internet for free. Oh, yeah, that's that's true. Blood Diamond on DVD. I'm thinking about getting it on Blu-ray. American Beauty. I showed you I had it on uh, Blu-ray. Yeah, I got it on DVD also. Now, my friend Dylan's got it on uh, VHS. World War One documentary on DVD because it, it was only five bucks. Um, Idiocracy got it on DVD. I would love to buy it on Blu-ray, but they don't have it on Blu-ray. They don't even have it on VHS. They only put it out on DVD. Um, Adam, they only put it out on DVD. Some of these movies in this stack are only on DVD. Um, Twilight, I got that for analysis. I, I, I was just maniacally laughing when I was watching that because it deviated so much from the whole perception and all that. Uh, they got on on DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, he's just not that in the U. I can't remember if they had it on Blu-ray or not, but I know they got it on DVD. Um, Adam's Family. Um, got the two-pack right here. I saw Adam's Family Values in theaters, but I didn't see the first Adam's Family in theaters. Thing about it, I'd probably... I think I, I think I got one of these on VHS somewhere. But, um, I'm thinking about getting it on Blu-ray, because it's pretty good. Um... Let's see. Uh, the Room. <clears throat> I got it on DVD. Actually, I bought this twice. Once for me and then once for Dylan. Uh, widescreen, you know, The Room. Um, and I got it on DVD. And I can't remember if it's on VHS or not. Um, <clears throat> now, matter of fact, my friend Dylan has it on DVD twice. He had it on DVD that he bought it like a some store or whatever, but it was used and it had some scratch no oh, wait. No, no, that was that was Bill's Gun Shop. Okay. The story on Bill's Gun Shop. Um is okay, I got confused. Um, my friend Dylan had Bill's Gun Shop on D V D that he got used and it had some scratches on there so there's one scene that was kinda unwatchable because it just the player would would skip or whatever, so he had it on DVD, and then um, now I found it on the internet, uh, actually on Amazon, and um, they had it was it was two bucks for the movie on DVD. And I'm like, damn, if it's that cheap, I just well he wanted you know I asked him if he wanted another uh, another one of uh, Bill's Gun Shop. <clears throat> And uh, because his had a scratch on it, and I'm like, well, it's only two bucks, you know, if it's going to be that cheap. Then I bought four of them. I gave one to him, and then I kept three for myself. Um, one is for me to watch. Another one is to loan out to people, to teach people, because this is a good teaching tool. And I got one factory sealed in the lockbox. Um, now, the room... Um, he had told me about it, and then I bought it twice, once for him, and then once for me on DVD, because it, it was only, it was eight bucks, which is kind of pricey, especially compared to Bill's Gun, it was like four times the price of Bill's Gun Shop, but it, this movie, now, it's regarded as one of the worst movies ever made, and it's in the Z movie category, like, like, B movie is supposedly, like, way better than this, um... Now, Birdemic is pretty much like the crappiest movie I've ever seen. I mean, not just the plot and the acting is horrible, but the film production. I mean, it looks like a sixth grader made it like in computer lab class. The special effects are so horrible. And, I mean, it looked like it had a budget of like $300. So, anyway, <laughs> um, 
the room is is the production quality of the room is pretty good. I mean, I mean it's I mean it's not like The Rocketeer, which was a Disney movie and had really good production quality and all that. And there's a reason why I buy Rocket, why I have Rocketeer three times because I, I like the Art Deco style. I like the 1930s time period. Timothy Dalton, he's a good actor. I like him. Um. And just the way this movie was is really good. Um, and then, um, now the room, it's got in pretty good production quality. I mean, you know, it, it's just kind of standard. Uh, and the acting's not really great, but the message in this movie is so powerful. It's like solid gold. And that's why, regardless of how crappy of a movie this might be, thought of by most people I, I mean it, it's still a good movie and there's a reason why I bought it now the guy Tommy Wiseau uh, he I, I think he wrote it but he did direct it and I think he produced it also and of course he starred in it and the thing is you notice I got this here it's got sp uh, special features uh, interview with Tommy Wiseau um, and it's got behind the scenes well, he talks about how he was confused about the, the difference in formats between standard definition and high definition. Now, this movie released in, um, was, it, when it was put on DVD in 2005, but it was, it was made, it was filmed in 2002, because you can see some of the, um, some of the time stamps, like, in the behind-the-scenes footage and all that, um, so this movie, they were making it like 10 years ago. And, um... So anyway, but in the interviews and all that, he talks about how he was confused. Uh, you know, this guy here, the guy that made it. He was, uh... He said he was confused about the format differences between standard definition and high definition. I'm sure the standard definition they use is probably 35 millimeter film. And... <clears throat> I think the high definition he may have been using may may have actually been digital. And uh, but the point is, he was confused about the differences in the formats, so he film he made this movie in both formats concurrent or at the same time simultaneously. And he shows in the behind the scenes, he's got a camera mount. And he's got two cameras on it. One is a standard definition. Uh, well, for standard definition, I think it's like a 35 millimeter film camera because that was pretty common. And then he's got a high definition camera. So he's got two cameras mounted side by side close together on this rig so that he can make his movie and and basically record it, you know, capture it in both formats. And he said that he he filmed the movie also in high definition. So like so out there like in this dude's studio or whatever he's got a high definition copy of his own movie. Now, that makes it possible to put on Blu-ray. I hope he does, because I'll buy it on Blu-ray, but right now he's only got it on DVD. I don't even think he put it on VHS. Now, God Bless America is a movie that, that, um, that Dylan showed me earlier this year. And, um, Anyway, and distributed by Magnet, and who is it? By, was it by Mongolia also? Yep. Or Magnolia. Magnolia and Magnet. They actually put out some good stuff, you know, for an independent uh, distribution. Um, now, he showed me this movie earlier this year, and I got it on DVD. He's got it on Blu-ray. And I would buy it on Blu-ray, but like, okay, you know, it won't... <clears throat> we buy a lot of our movies at Walmart because they got a good deal on there and all that. So anyway, he saw it on, you know, he saw that they had it on Blu-ray and DVD. Well, he bought it on Blu-ray, and so the first time I watched this, he brought it over and he watched it on Blu-ray, on my Blu-ray player, and the picture looked great. Of course, this movie came out in 2011, so it's well into the time of high definition, and uh, and it looks great. Um, well, I was going to buy it on Blu-ray, but by the time I got to the store, you know, like a couple weeks later, all they had it on was DVD. So, I got it on DVD. And, um, anyway, 
and um, I'll eventually get it on Blu-ray. But um, anyway, um, that's that. Um, but um, yeah. Um. Um, Indiana Jones, you see it on VHS there, I might eventually get it on Blu-ray. Something like that. Um, but I would just love to dismiss and dispel the whole misperception that, you know, about bootlegging movies and all that. Matter of fact, look at that over there. Yeah, right where the beam is. Oh, yeah, it's Caddyshack on uh, VHS. And I got it on DVD also. Showed you. And here's some of my other collection stuff. Oh, yeah, some Intellivision games right there. For this old, you know, Mattel Intellivision. 30-some-odd-year-old video game system. Same age as me. Darkwing Duck. Yep, got it on Nintendo twice. All this other stuff. Um... And so, you know, I get really sick and tired of this whole frickin' piracy, you know, bootlegging kind of crap, you know, where, like, I, I know there's a lot of people that bootleg stuff, and it gets on my nerves, you know, people do it, and it gets on my nerves even worse that Hollywood thinks everybody does it and assumes that I'm doing it also, and then, and then YouTube gets involved and, and, Mm, well, well, you don't have the rights to use this. Man, man, man. Well, man, man, man. It's like I'm, I'm sick and tired of all this piracy crap. Oh, there's more DVDs over there. I didn't even capture on camera and all that. But yeah, well, I, I pay for movies, okay? And I'll continue to pay for movies, especially because the movies are getting better uh, and the prices are coming down on them. So yeah, I'm gonna buy more movies. I'm not gonna go out and freaking download a bunch of stuff which is crappy quality and blah 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 and then I know it, it 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 hurts the ability for Hollywood to perpetuate the whole movie process because it's a bit of a financially uh, financial crippling uh, phenomenon and all that so you know what I would appreciate if I would not be treated like I'm a like I'm a bootlegger okay so you need to go pet some